All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this hole. See what I can come up with. Got a nice deep hole here. Got a good fast water to hide myself. moved down just a little bit I want to hit this hole you can see how beautiful it is all the way down there but it's nice it, there's got some depth to it 
all the way up to here. I'm going to start casting these trees here and then uh, work my way down. Keep that fly going to drag free. Watch your indicator. Keep that drag free. The fly will be drag free. Going down to those nice rocks down here. And all the way down. And when you get to the end of the drift in a spot like this, leave it hanging there for a couple of seconds. You might follow it, and then at the end of the drift, it starts coming off the bottom, and then they'll hit it. There's one. Oh, I lost them. I lost that one. Big man upstream, get that drag free going. I think I struck them too soon, too quick. All right, I went downstream with no luck. Just get, keeps getting shallower there. I had a couple chub bites. But uh, come back up here, it's been uh, probably a good half hour. So I know I missed one right here by this, in front of this big huge rock. And I got those other couple up there. So I'm gonna give this another shot. Water and load my line up. Drop right in. There he goes. Right on the left side of that rock again. He nailed it. Bring them down so you can see them. What a nice rainbow. They got them double hooked. There we go, he's cleared the second hook. Beautiful rainbow. Got a lot of yellow on them. He goes and my fly went with him. That happens sometimes. All right, you can't see it very good, but there's a nice run right against that flat rock there. I'm gonna do that, and I'm coming up. We got a couple deep runs right here, too, or just one in the middle. So I think I'm going to do this one in the middle first. And then I'm going to hit that one over there. I hit all the areas I could from right here. There's a fish. Woo, it's a good one. Brownie. Nice brownie. Looks like he dropped, got grabbed by a crane or a merganger or something with marks on his back. And he took the uh, DSS.
Oh, it's a tiger. A beautiful fish. And away he goes. It is what we see across there. Mama Merganser. That's a fish eater. That's a whole bunch of fish eaters right there. All right, this is another one of my favorite spots on this particular stream. You can see there's a lot of grass in the water. And that actually helps with the wading. But all of this fast water going all the way down, they could be anywhere in here. Like they could be right behind that rock right there or all the way on the other side. where I've been catching all day right here this is what I've been catching all day beautiful holdovers beautiful colors I'm gonna put them back in the water or put her back in the water there she is and there she goes Give this whole couple more shots. But there's the fly wet. Hemingway prints, very nice. I had a question today on uh, what do I like better, the lively legs or the Hemingway? And all I can say is they both work equally well, and I do see a difference with the with the rubber legs on them. And uh, it's really going to be your own preference if you want to try either one or both. I would suggest both because uh, both of them make really nice flies, and uh, they work. You think that guy's catching any fish? The great blue heron. Look at him standing like a statue. Alright, this is the end of my day. I hope that you enjoyed the trip with me. Hope that you would uh, visit my sponsors. Let them know I sent you. Always catch and release. Be safe. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.